What's up, good people? Welcome back to Matter of Fact. If it's your first time joining us, uh, welcome in, welcome in. Glad to have you. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, hit them buttons to get the notifications about more content up and coming. Uh, this week, I've been talking about myself in the security world, the corporate security world, that is. I want to talk about the time I was at Greenbrier Mall, Southwest Atlanta, in the SWATs. If you're from Atlanta, drop a comment. If you know about Greenbrier, drop a comment. So I'm the assistant director of security, and I have an officer who, at this point, he has been suspended because that Friday, I get a call from one of the store managers saying that my officer had went in there um, two times during that day and uh, made a purchase with a credit card, and then he came back later on that day and made a second purchase for uh, more money uh, for a larger dollar amount uh, for a pair of Prada shoes. Now, this particular store, um, with any dollar value over, I think it was $700 or so, at the end of the day, or at some point during the day, they matched the receipt to uh, the card. So, at some point, they wind up figuring out that the receipt in the card had two different names. So, basically, my guy was scamming, right? So, mind you, he is a security officer at the mall. Um, but keep in mind, security officers are just regular people too. So they think and act just like everybody else. They just might be wearing a uniform. So it takes integrity um, to stop yourself from doing things of that nature. But anyway, so uh, I get the call. Um, I call him, you know, and first thing I say to him was just return the merchandise because the manager, based on my relationship with her, um, she was willing to get her shoes back and she would have, you know, avoided the transaction and it never happened. So, uh, first thing I said to him was, you know, take the shoes back. Obviously, you know, of course he tried to play crazy. Um, but from that point, you know, I let him know he was suspended and I let him know more on Monday when I called him after talking to corporate or whatever the case. So, uh, fast forward over the weekend, right? So, I get a call that um, Sunday morning, I want to say, I get a call that one of the kiosks in the middle of the mall cash registers missing so that just blew my mind so i go to the cameras i look at the cameras and the same officer that i had suspended uh came back to the mall on the overnight shift dressed in uniform uh went into the mall and basically pulled a trash can over to the kiosk put the cash register in the trash can and then push the trash can out to his car. So the people that saw him just saw him pushing the trash can essentially in uniform. So they didn't ask any questions. Uh, the officers who was there overnight, it's a minimum staff. So uh, obviously they didn't see him. This was just, you know, an unfortunate situation where choices and decisions, um, and like I say, character and just, you know, doing the right thing. Uh, will always get you further in the end. So, you know, long story short, he wound up getting locked up for the, all the charges, obviously lost his job, et cetera, et cetera. But that's just one of the many things that I had to deal with in my life as the assistant director of security. Uh, plenty more stories, more content. Like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate you for tuning in. Till the next time, be matter of fact.